Hello everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to Crochet with Lisa. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this ghost that is crocheted using fillet crochet. Fillet crochet allows you to produce a design using open blocks and closed blocks. The yarn that is used for this project is Burnett Super Value Yarn. It's a medium weight of four. I also used a five millimeter crochet hook. The finish size of this motif is about 14 and a half by 14 and a half inches, or that's 37 by 37 centimeters. This is after I blocked it. Before blocking it, it was about 13 by 13 inches. I also have other videos of different motifs using the fillet crochet method. I have a jack-o'-lantern, a black cat, and coming out soon will be a moon and stars. You can find these other videos on my channel under the Halloween playlist. So I will use a contrasting color for the back of this design so that the ghost is visible. And the reason that I designed these motifs was to use them as the front of a trick-or-treat bag. So you can find the video tutorial for the trick-or-treat bag on my Halloween playlist also. But these motifs can be used for other projects such as pillows or even incorporated into an afghan. So I can give you a copy of this graph that I used for the project, but the only way I can give this to you is if you take a screenshot of it. Once you have your screenshot, you can work from it on a device or you can print it, and that is my recommendation. I find it much easier to work from a paper copy because I can mark off my rows. I will guide you row by row for the first about four rows, then you're gonna work on your own for a little while, and then when we get to this row up here where the lettering starts, then I will come back and guide you through that as well. All right, let's get ready for your screenshot. Now we are ready to begin. If we look at the graph, we can see that we have some solid squares and we have some open squares. The solid squares are filled in with our double crochets. The open squares we will have a chain one for that space. Each of these lines will represent a stitch. If we have a closed square, that's also going to be a double crochet. If it's an open square, it's going to be a chain one. So let's see how many stitches we have along here. These are all closed, so there are no chain one spaces. So we have one for this one, one for the closed space, one for this line, one for this space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. An easier way to count this would be to count up each block and then multiply by two. Because we know that this here is, we have two stitches, the line and the block, then this line and this block. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 times two is 50, and then add one for the last line. So 51. So we have 25 blocks or squares times two equals 50, and then 50 plus that last line is 51. So to begin, we are going to need a chain that is 52 chains long. So I'll take my white, 
start with that slip knot and we'll chain 52. All right, so I have a chain of 52 and we're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. Then we're gonna double crochet in each chain all the way across. And at the end, there should be 51 double crochets. And we're counting this chain over here as a double crochet. So I have two there. Three. So keep going all the way across your chain and make sure at the end you have 51 double crochets. So I've counted and I have 51 double crochets. Okay, let's look at our chart again. We have just completed this row, which is row one. And we've gone this direction. So for row two, we will go in this direction. So we're gonna work from left to right. Let's count how many open blocks we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now to make these open blocks, we're gonna start with chain three. Just turn our work. Now this chain is worked over this first double crochet. We're gonna skip the second double crochet. So we're going to do a double crochet above our third one. So that beginning chain three the first two chains are a double crochet and the third one is our chain one. So now we're gonna chain one. We're gonna skip a double crochet, double crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip a double crochet, double crochet in the next one. So if we look back at our work, we can see that we've got one, two, three open blocks. Remember we have to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So chain one, we're gonna skip one double crochet and double crochet in the top of the next one. We'll do that until we have 10 of these open blocks. Okay, so I have 10 of these open blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've ended with a double crochet. So no chain one after this double crochet. So that will put us right here. So now we have these closed in blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna follow that same calculation we did down here. So nine times two is 18, plus our last stitch will be 19. So I'm just gonna count them out with you just to make sure that you understand. One, so this is a double crochet, this is a double crochet. Double crochet, double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So this double crochet that we have here is our, we will count as number one. So we're just gonna double crochet on top of the double crochets from that row before and stop when we have 19. Okay, so that is 19 double crochets. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six open blocks until we get to the end of this row. So we are going to chain one. We're gonna skip one double crochet, double crochet in the next one. 
So chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next one. That will give us two open spaces. Chain one, skip one, double crochet, double crochet in the next one. That's three. Chain one, skip one, double crochet, and we'll double crochet in the next one. Give us four, chain one, skip one, double crochet, double crochet in the next one. Chain one, and then we should be at the end of our row. We're just going to double crochet in the top of that chain that was our double crochet. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six open spaces. So we are finished row one, finish row two. I'll put a few more numbers over here. So for row three, we're going to work in this direction. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have one more open block going in this direction. So let's start with this one. So seven open spaces. So start with the chain three. So remember that's a double crochet and our first chain one. Now if we're working over an open space down here, I'm going to double crochet at the top of this double crochet. Chain one. And we're going to double crochet on the top of the next double crochet. Chain one, double crochet on the top of that next double crochet. So keep going. four, five, six. Now for our seventh one, we're chaining one and remember now we have to skip that next double crochet, double crochet on the top of the next one. Let's count how many double crochets we have to make here for these closed blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times two is 18, plus one is 19. So we already have our first one. So we have to do 19 double crochets. So that's two. I'll meet you when you get to 19. Well, I'll meet you right at the end of here. So at 17 double crochets, I'll meet you and talk about how we will fill in the 18th one. Okay, so I just finished the 17 double crochets. I need 19, but now I'm over this open space. So I'm just gonna double crochet right into that space. So that was our number 18, and then double crochet in the top of this double crochet. So if we're doing a closed space above an open one, just going to simply double crochet right into that chain one space. So now we have to finish off with these open spaces. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we look at the row before on our work, we should have nine open spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So just chain one double crochet on the top of the double crochet from the row before. Chain one, double crochet on that double crochet. So just continue that to the end of the row and I'll meet you right here. So I'm just at the end of the row. I've done my double crochet, chain one. Now we have this chain three. So you're just going to do a double crochet in that middle chain. So row three is finished. Row four, we are working from left to right. So let's count how many open spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So start with a chain three. Turn our work. 
So we're going to double crochet in the top of this double crochet. Chain one. Keep going until we have eight open spaces. All right, I have my eight open spaces. Now we'll count how many of these closed blocks we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine times two is 18, plus one is 19. So we're gonna do 19 double crochets. So we already have our first one. And remember, if there is an open block below, you're just going to crochet in that chain one space. So that's two, three, meet you when you have 19. All right, so the 19 double crochets are done. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight open spaces. And if we look in the row before, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're gonna make the eighth one here. So chain one, we're gonna skip a double crochet, double crochet in the top of the next one. Chain one, now we're gonna double crochet on the top of this double crochet. Chain one, continue this to the end of the row. So remember for that last double crochet, just put it into that middle chain. So now we have finished our fourth row. I'm gonna get you to work on rows five through 10 on your own, just following along in the same way that we did rows two, three, and four, just counting how many open spaces there are, how many closed blocks, keeping track of which direction you're going to work in. These rows are fairly straightforward if you just keep track of all that. Just make sure that you have the correct number of double crochets when you're working in these closed blocks. I will come back and we'll work some of these rows here where we have the wording in there. These are a little bit more complicated. They're not difficult, but it just takes a little bit more counting. But if you do not have the correct number of double crochets at the end of row 10, then row 11 is not going to work out for you. So let's just see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 times 2 is 30 plus 1 is 31. So make sure you have the 31 double crochets when you are finished row 10. I will meet back here with you and we will start row 11 together. I have finished my 10th row. So now we're ready for row 11. So row 11 is working this way. So we'll start with chain three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six open spaces. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now we have one closed block. So that is gonna be one, two, three stitches. So three double crochets. So we've got our first double crochet second one, and third one. And next to that we've got one open space. So we're gonna chain one, we're gonna skip one double crochet and double crochet in the top of the next one. Then we have another closed space, so that's one, two, three double crochets. 
We already have our first double crochet, second one, and third one. Okay, so now we have one, two, three open spaces. So chain one, skip one double crochet, double crochet in the top of the next one. Chain one, skip one double crochet, double crochet on the top of the next one. Chain one, skip one double crochet, double crochet on the top of the next one. So that finishes this. Now we have a closed block. So that's one, two, three double crochets. We've got our first one. two, and three. So now we're going to have another set of three open blocks. So chain one, skip a double crochet, double crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip a double crochet, double crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip a double crochet, double crochet in the next one. We have another closed block, so three double crochets. So one, two, and three. So now we have our last set of three open blocks, open spaces. So chain one, skip a double crochet, double crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip a double crochet, double crochet in the next one. chain one, skip a double crochet and double crochet in the next one. So we've got our three open spaces there. Now we have one closed one, so that's three double crochets. So we have one, two, and three. We're going to end with four open spaces. So chain one and double crochet on the top of the double crochet. Okay, so that is our four open spaces at the end. Check that one off. So row 12, we're going to be working this way. So we're going to start with three open blocks. So we'll start with our chain three. And turn. So these are our, our three open blocks here. Now we've got two closed ones here. So remember two times two is four plus one is five. We should have five double crochets. We've got one double crochet. Second one is gonna go into that chain one space. Three, four, and five. So here we're going to have one open square. So chain one and then just double crochet on the top of that double crochet. Next we're going to have the closed block. So we need three double crochets. So we've got one. Second one goes into the chain one space. and the third one on the top of that double crochet. Then we are going to have our open space. So chain one, and we have an open space down there, so we're just gonna double crochet, and that next double crochet. Here we have our closed blocks. We need one, two, three double crochets. We've already got one. So two and three. 
this is going to work the same as over here. So we've got an open one, a closed one, and an open one for the O. So for the open one, we're going to chain one and just double crochet on the top of that double crochet. Then we're going to have a closed block. So we need three double crochets, so that's one. Double crochet into the chain one space and double crochet on the top of that next double crochet. And then we're going to need one more open space. So chain one and double crochet over here in our next double crochet. Okay, so that is open, closed, open. Now we're going to have a closed one between those two letters. So that is three double crochets. We have our three double crochets. Now we're going to do the same thing open, closed, open. So chain one, double crochet on the top of the one before, in the row before, I mean. So now we're going to do a closed block. So we've got one double crochet, two double crochets, and three. We're going to have an open block over here, so chain one, and then you're just going to double crochet in that next double crochet. Over here we have three closed blocks. So three times two is six, plus one is seven. So we've got our one double crochet. The fourth one is going to go into that chain one space. So we have seven double crochets and then we're just going to finish off with our open spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is the end of the twelfth row. Thirteenth row, we're working back this way. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five open blocks. So we'll start with our chain three, and we'll turn. We'll work five open blocks. So I have those five open blocks done. Now there are two closed blocks. So two times two is four plus one is five, so five double crochets. So one, two is in that chain one space. So that is five double crochets. So we need an open box here, so chain one, Skip one double crochet, and we're going to double crochet in the next one. Now we have a closed one, so that's three double crochets. So one, two, three. Now through this O and this O, we are going to do exactly what is in the row before. So here we see that we have that open block. We're just going to put an open block over it. And then we have our three double crochets. And an open one over this one. Then we have our three double crochets. We're at the next O, so chain one. We're going to put an open block over this one, and then a closed one. And our open one. So we're just doing what we see in that row before. Sometimes it's easy just to follow what is 
in the previous row if it's exactly the same. Now we're over here, we've just finished this O, so we're going to do a closed one. So that's one, two, three double crochets. Now we have one, two, three open spaces, open blocks. So chain one, double crochet on the top of that one from below, chain one. So now we're skipping a double crochet and we're going to double crochet in the next one. Chain one, double crochet in that next one. Now next to that we have two more closed spaces, so that's two times two is four, plus one is five. Five double crochets, so that's we have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now we are going to finish with those three open spaces right there. So chain one, double crochet in that double crochet from the row before, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and we're going to double crochet in the middle of our chain three. So we finished row 13. I'm going to have you work rows 14 through 25 on your own. Just reading the graph in the same way that I've shown you. When you have finished row 25, we will meet back here. So I've just finished the 25th row. Now I'm going to put a row of single crochets all around three sides of this. I'm doing this to prep it for the front of a trick-or-treat bag. So here we have my corner. I've turned it, this is the top, so I've turned it to the side. Just going to chain one and then single crochet back into that same corner. Now all along this edge I'm going to put a single crochet in this chain space and then I'm going to put a, a single crochet right here in this space. Okay, so in the chain space and then into this stitch right here. So that's how I'm going to space out my single crochets all the way along the side. So we'll do that all the way to the corner. We get down to this corner, I'll meet you there and we'll talk about this corner. I'm just approaching the corner. So right here along the side of this double crochet, I will fit in two single crochets. And right into the corner space, I'm going to do three single crochets. So now we're at the bottom. So along the bottom, we can put a single crochet into each chain. Okay, so just continue along this bottom, putting a single crochet in each chain. When you get to your corner, put three single crochets in there. And then the third side, just like the first side. So a single crochet in your chain space and then a single crochet into that stitch. Do that all the way up to this corner. And when you get to that corner, you have completed the single crochet row that we need on three sides. And this single crochet row will assist in sewing, or not sewing, but single crocheting the front and the back of the bag together. Okay, so that is it for my tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed following along in this tutorial with me today. You found it easy to follow. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and you can follow along with some other great projects. 
So have a great day and happy crocheting.